Welcome to the beautiful island of Plum Creek. The island creator Matilda describes this island's aesthetic as vintage farm core, which is absolutely perfect because it is partially inspired by the famous historical drama Little House on the Prairie. Not only that, but both of her residents have fully decorated houses on this island and every single villager home is fully redone both inside and out to match the theme. I hope you guys are enjoying this sneak peek before we dive into the tour. And if you are new here or if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I do have a pretty big goal of 100,000 subscribers that I'm hoping to hit by October of this year. So it would mean so much if you would subscribe to my channel for more island tours and Animal Crossing content right here. All right, you guys, well, let's go ahead and dive into the tour. I'll see y'all at the airport. And here we are. Do I even need to say how obsessed I am with this flag? <laughs> I think it's so, so cozy. It's a flag that would look obviously so good on a vintage farm core island like this one, but also something along the lines of a more grandma core or cottage core type of island. It's just too perfect. And this outfit was courtesy of the creator, Matilda. If you decide to visit this dream address, which if you decide to, let me go ahead and pull up the map so you can see it. You will see that she left out some presents outside of resident services, so that way you can have a little fitting outfit to wear, which is super cute. So here is the map of Plum Creek. I already spot that lake in the back. I think that's gonna have a stunning view. But in addition to that, we have two residents right here with homes that are decorated, so we do get to check out the interiors there. And then this villager lineup is just so cute. Lots of very farmy animals, of course, like Patty. Then we have Bettina, who I rarely see, but she's such a cutie. We have Elmer, Billy, Ava, Maggie, Bee, Shep, Annalise, and Kevin Bacon. <laughs> So many of these are just perfect for a farm core aesthetic. And I like that they all do have that shade of ivory or brown or orange. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing that quite a lot. And again, here's the dream address on the screen, but I am going to make sure and link Matilda's Instagram account in the description box. That's where not only you can go just shower her with love and tell her how much you love this island. But if you're interested in any of the custom codes used on this island, she has a little Instagram highlight with all of that information. So that's very, very handy and very sweet for her to give us that info. And look at this, look at this little entrance. So precious. And I know you guys don't know this unless you uh, peeked at it on the map, but directly behind this one cliff is resident services. There you go. Isn't that crazy? It's so close to the airport, but the way that everything has been camouflaged just by a tiny bit of terraforming right here, it's essentially completely blocked off from this one view. So I think that's a really, really great piece of inspiration if you have your resident services and airport very close to one another, but you might want them to feel a little bit more separate. Take notes from Matilda, because this is such a beautiful entrance. Not to mention how cute is this little custom code right here. The welcome sign, of course, to welcome all of your visitors. So beautiful. I love it. Okay, now let's, I guess we'll just go this way. We'll follow the signs. It's always incredibly handy, of course, to have <laughs> directions, at least for someone like me who uh, constantly, constantly gets lost. Oh wow, this is a gorgeous farm. I love the mix of the potatoes and the wheat right here. And then of course we have a little bit of glowing moss and then some fully grown weeds sprinkled in throughout, but that really is so pretty. And it looks like we have a villager home right here. It doesn't look like anyone's home, but we will go on and visit some of the interiors if we see that someone is inside. Yeah, I love this. I think this is a great example on how your farms and your little crop plots in Animal Crossing, it doesn't have to all be the same thing, you know? Oh, this little <laughs> this little apiary over here, a little bee farm. <gasps> oh, this is so well done. I really, really love the corrugated iron fencing in this like rusted brown. So nice. So, so well done over here. Gorgeous. And another villager home. I love the exteriors of these homes. I know we can't go inside these because no one... Oh wait, is that window open? Oh, the window is open. There is someone. <laughs> Listen to me, I was about to not go in there. 
there is a villager home here. But anyway, what I was saying is we're already getting a great sneak peek of how the villager exteriors have really been decorated to fit this vintage farm core vibe. And wow, yep, this is pretty perfect. So much great usage of, oh, is it? Oh, man, now I'm gonna forget the name of this furniture set. It's, oh my goodness. Holy brain fart, you guys. Country? Countryside? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> but it looks so nice. Is it rustic countryside? Why? I don't remember. But I love this interior. And of course, this old, old wallpaper looks so nice, especially when paired with a lot of the wooden furniture. Beautiful, beautiful vibes. And of course, we have some jars and some bottles for canning preservatives, things like that. Gorgeous. And that is all directly behind resident services, which is very, very impressive, I must say. Well, hi, Miss Luna. I'm gonna sneak past you again because I did see an arrow over here to go to Nook's Cranny and that is where we're gonna go. I got too distracted by this really pretty farm right here. But it looks, aha, here it is. Oh, how pretty. Oh, this is so nice. Definitely picking up on the vintage aesthetic and nod right here. Of course, we have a little section and shop to display some pottery. And then this is almost like a little little feed and seed. Also, we have some antiques, it looks like, with this little clock over here. Oh, I love the way that this Nook's Cranny is decorated. So pretty. Love the displays out front as well. Gorgeous. See what's over here on, on the beach. Is this a little bakery? Oh, we have a bakery over this way. So well done. Wow, even my outfit matches this island. <laughs> so much thought clearly went into every single detail here. And then this looks like, oh yeah, it's like a little farmer's market. Love the pumpkins. Love how these jack-o'-lanterns were turned around to look like pumpkins. I mean, obviously jack-o'-lanterns are themselves pumpkins, but you know what I'm saying. This is beautiful. So we have some fruit and veg over here. And then on this side, oh, hi, a friend. It's a fine morning, ain't it? <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. So adorable. And here it looks like we do have canned goods, some cheese. I love that. Wow, I really like too. I've seen this on an, uh, an, an island before, but how the wheat fields just kind of are placed against the edge of the ocean that way. It's a nice way to, to segment the island without it feeling like, you know, you can't go anywhere. Like fencing sometimes feels that way. Oh, and then here's Able Sisters. Oh, with perfect outfits. Those are stunning. And of course, the matching clothing as well back there. That is so, so pretty. Definitely a nice nod to Little House on the Prairie, a vintage kind of aesthetic. Because we've seen, look, we've seen some farm core islands in our day. For sure, but this gives it a really, really nice twist and sets, you know, sets us back in time. And a beautiful little post office right here. This is such a good example of a post office too, especially if you want to build one but you don't want to sacrifice too much space on your island. This is really lovely. It doesn't take up too much space at all and the stacked presents really, really help establish what this area is. And then of course the sign. <laughs> the sign obviously doesn't hurt either with letting people know exactly what that build is for. So pretty, all of it. Oh, and look at this. What is this just little, little picnic spot on a floating island? Okay, uh, this is so cute. Wow, and the land bridge that is at the 
bottom of the screen here. It looks like an in-game bridge, especially at this view. This is adorable. I love the placed hat and the cookies. The detail here is outstanding because even the cookies and the little teacup, coffee cup with Brewster on it, even those are this color scheme and match this color scheme of like browns and ivories. It's just so, so well done. Oh, and we're, we have a little villager house right here. Is someone home? No, I don't think so. Oh, this is Shep's house. He's a sweetheart. I do love Shep here. Oh, lovely. And then we have a little fishing wharf down this way. <laughs> so fun. These beaches, you know, it's hard to imagine vintage, farm, and then like tropical beach at the same time. <laughs> but this is a perfect example on how you can really, really change your beaches to fit any, any theme. And a perfect little area for cabin. Oh, nope, wanna leave that on. Don't want anyone getting lost. Yeah, let me just run through this beach over here. See how effective and beautiful this is to match the rest of the island, but really, it's mostly pathing and some wheat fields, a couple of other items. Look at this, is this a palm tree cut down? It is. Wow. That's something you don't see on every island, but I love it. Right. Onwards. <laughs> I can't get over this little picnic spot back here. What a great, great use of small space. And the way it's just segmented on an island. Okay, I'll stop talking about it, but I love it. And here, speaking of, there he is. There is Shep himself and cows. Oh, it's so good. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I don't think there's a more perfect island to have the covered wagon item. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be seeing it more and more, but it truly is just a perfect island for this item. And then this area, I kind of saw a sneak peek of it. Gosh, it's just like a little bakery, a little cafe. Wow. Wow, and this isn't even, I feel like this peninsula isn't one of the larger ones. Yeah, it's definitely one of the smaller ones. What a cool way to decorate your peninsula. Just turn it into a little cafe. And now, thankfully, we have the storefronts, we have the curtains. And that can really segment this part of your island, which is quite frankly, very difficult to decorate. To separate it from everything else, which is kind of nice. Beautiful. And I haven't even commented yet on this gorgeous mix of flowers. You have the green mums, you have yellow tulips, you have the orange hyacinths. There's such a nice color scheme happening. Oh, this is a beautiful exterior. Okay, I love, and I know I have said this before, so my apologies for repeating myself, but I love when the seats are mismatched. And this is a tree stump right here, but then of course we have a stool, we have the log stool back that way. I love, love, love when they are mismatched. Oh, and I see her back there. Wait, I don't know if I can get to her. Oh, I can, I can. Okay, great, we have to say hi. Cannot be rude and intrude without saying hello first. Oh wait, hello, <laughs> my button didn't work. Visited farmer's market yet? I did and was obsessed with it. Love a good beachside farmer's market. And this is so sweet too, a little laundry station on the beach rocks. Ugh, the dropped socks are just so sweet cute even a little area right here place some seed beautiful all of it and here we have a beach pumpkin patch what 
That is so unique. Sometimes I forget you can actually plant the crops on the beach and obviously flowers on the beach. I wish you could plant trees other than the palm trees on the beach. Man, wouldn't that be cool? A nice little tranquil bath area back this way. Okay, this is beautiful. So much good beach inspiration. Hello again. And hello to you again, Shep. <laughs> okay, let's go back to where we were. And again with these mis mismatched farms. How smart is this? First you have some weeds, but then you have sugar cane, a little tiny bamboo sprout growing, pumpkins, potatoes, wheat. I, there's just so much. Love that. And this whole cliff is dedicated to Patty. To sweet Patty. This is really giving me the coziest of vibes. And I think part of it's because even though it's not a cottage core aesthetic, it very much it's like a sister to that aesthetic and to that theme that we have seen all, like over and over, especially in early, like early anime. Oh, oh my gosh, Animal Crossing days. Wow, I need more coffee. Oh, a blacksmith area. Oh, how cool. Whenever I first saw this and the ax, my mind immediately went to being like some kind of carpenter, but no, oh, it's a myth. All of, oh, my head's in the way. All of these custom designs, y'all, are so well made. The signs from, where was it? Was it the, the bakery? Oh, it was the post office that we saw a sign for. I love just how vintage they kind of make everything feel. The font, the way it feels like it's kind of run down. And again, I, I know I already mentioned this in the beginning, but all of these codes too, you can access on Matilda's Instagram on her highlights. Look at this vineyard. Oh, stop. Well, you know, y'all know that I'm about to love it here. Wow, I'm going the wrong way, but this is gorgeous. Oh, I love the mix over here of trees. Oh my gosh, and we have like the little wine bottles. This is so sweet. This is just giving me life. Look at this. Of course, I love the stunted hardwood trees, but I like how there are the different hardwood trees too, like the different levels, right? You have the medium, you have the small, you have some of the gray pads, you have the barrels, but then you also have the umbrellas to really, really make this area crystal clear. And not to mention the bushes too look so good. Wow. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, I'm I'm officially quite inspired. <laughs> Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And then of course, this version of the pergola is just so perfect because of the purple flowers right next to the vineyard. And here we have a sawmill. Okay, this. Wait a second. Wait one second. Do y'all see the log benches back there on the left-hand side? Okay, this is genius. It truly took me a second or two to look at those log benches and not think that they were some new item in the game. Like, when do we ever have logs? It's just the bench, but wow. The way that those combined with the stacks of wood and of course the toolbox, this is amazing. What a wonderful build too. You have the wooden shed, you have the storefronts, you have some simple panels. Whoa, okay. This is like a good 101 as far as creating buildings that are obviously not in-game structures on your island. Wow, it looks so good. A sawmill, how genius is that? First, we have the blacksmith and then we have sawmill. 
amazing. Oh, and here we're at one of the main houses. Such a sweet and simple yard with an apple pie. <laughs> okay, let's go on inside. Ooh. Oh, I love this. You walk right in and you have this beautiful, beautiful kitchen. Oh my gosh, and look at this door back here. How sneaky is that? Just using some custom codes and it really does feel like it's a separate back door of sorts. Wow. And I love the way that these walls have been blocked off, of course. I think that's genius. Absolutely genius. And again, all of this furniture, it just looks amazing. Wait, what in the world? What is this item? Am I, what is that? Is that a radio that I have never seen or some kind of, don't, I genuinely don't know. <gasps> well, I love, can I, can I go upstairs and downstairs? I can, okay, perfect. This whole island is just the epitome of cozy. Wow, yep, and this bedroom confirms it. This bedroom confirms it. Oh my gosh, look at the sewing station over here. <gasps> And the bonnet in the back too. Okay, yep, yep. This is lovely. Absolutely lovely. And I like too that this bed specifically has the quilt on it because it almost alludes that over here in this amazing sewing station area and craft table, that that's, that's exactly where Comforter was made. Oh, this is just so beautiful. I know parts of this island, of course, were inspired by Little House on the Prairie, but that visual is so consistent throughout pretty much every area we've seen. Oh, how nice. And of course, we have a little storage area for food, a couple of barrels. This is so good. Some tools, extra supplies. This is a vintage basement. Spot on. I, I genuinely couldn't think of anything else that would be down here. This is so, so well done. You have the sacks of flour and seeds. You have eggs. You have your apples. <laughs> this is amazing. Matilda, so good. Okay, and now that the other rooms are blocked off, let's continue. Absolutely love that. Okay, well, I guess let's go around the sawmill and we will explore the left side of the island because we haven't quite yet. Oh, love a good wheat field. Oh, and this brings us to the other house too. Um, well, that's pretty cool. Let's run through this. Stop, the secret beach. Okay, all right, before we go into the house, um, this, this whole walkway and seeing the wheat field, then leading to the secret beach. Look at how, it's so perfect. Hi again, Matthew. You can, you can go by if you need to. Yep, he's like, get out of my way. Okay. <laughs> and then you go this way, to get to the secret beach into red. Oh my gosh. And is there a more perfect item to put on your secret beach besides the boat? I'm gonna say no. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's go now into this house. See what's in here. Oh, how cool. Whoa. Oh, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting this. It's almost like a country kitchen, and then you have a little outdoor area over here as well. 
Oh, this is so, so good. And the custom design usage throughout this island in general has been phenomenal, but I have to point out this floor. And we saw, I wanna say it was on the beach near the farmer's art market, this pattern used. But using it on an interior like this too. Oh gosh, it's just so, so good at segmenting all of this. Oh, amazing. Okay, it looks like we have another room to go in. Oh, wow. We have a little bedroom over here. And then a little bathing spot. What? What? This is so good. And yet it is totally different than the other home. Captures a very similar aesthetic, obviously, and vibe that matches the rest of the island. But it's much more quaint, a little bit more concise. Wow. This is a great, great use of space. And this is, oh, it is the ironwood bed. Wow, I almost didn't recognize it because whenever it is paired with this plaid, it just fits so well with the rest of this island. Amazing. <laughs> Such great inspiration, especially if you are into the, the look and feel of islands that are a little bit more on the vintage side or rustic side. So much inspiration to be had here. Wow, I'm pretty floored. I guess, let's go, you know, let's just follow the path this way, see where it takes us. Oh, I see, it takes us back to the blacksmith and then I'm, this is resident services over here? <gasps> Wait, no, whoa, <laughs> did you guys see that lag? That was amazing. This is so sweet. It's almost like a little community area. Again, I have to point out the mismatched chairs. I just adore it. Definitely getting some Thanksgiving feast type of vibes. Good. And I'm not sure if I knew that items like this bread basket right here could be placed on um on the little Halloween bench item. Oh, learn something new every day. Love the community area though. Oh, how sweet would it be to see multiple of your villagers just sitting and hanging out around there? Oh, I wish. So sweet. And back here, what is back this way? Another gorgeous farm. I like how a lot of the villagers, you, my friend, you are following, are you, you need to calm down and stop stalking me, okay? <laughs> I love how, oh, Tony, no barking. Well, sorry about that. I had to pause for a second because my dog started barking at the Amazon person. So we don't want that. We don't want that in the video. <laughs> I also too, I don't think I have pointed this out yet, but the fruit trees. We've seen some pear trees and we have seen orange trees. And I just like how they're naturally sprinkled throughout. Just makes it feel very, very natural. <gasps> Kevin, this is your house? Kevin, this is cool. I mean, this is like a really cool looking house. Now I have to say I am mega inspired by the use of curtains on this island. Look at that, that's genius. To separate this little bedroom spot from the living room and dining area. It's so well done. And I don't think I knew how perfectly they fit in between the columns like this. Oh, hi Kevin, sorry. Wow, love these villager houses. up here oh and we have a nice whoa a pretty view of the ocean and we have a nice little villager house up here Ooh, a really cool just single line farm little garden area that's cute okay who is gonna be in here 
Maybe the little mouse, Bettina? No, it's Maggie. Oh, Maggie. If there were a perfect villager for this island, I would say Maggie could be it. And Shep is really, really perfect for it too, I gotta say. Wow, love this little kitchen. I like how the counter is turned backwards right here, so that way you can really see the detail of how it opens up in the back. And that item too has like additional hidden items in it, like the little bottles down there. Totally adds to this whole vibe. Maggie, I love your house. I like how so many of these villagers too, they almost have their own little cliffs. Lots of privacy, which is so nice. Love this laundry area. I have to point it out too. <laughs> and one thing I have to appreciate is that there's no shying away from using the glowing moss, even on an island like this. You know, it really adds to it. Looks so good. <gasps> a little baby chopped down tree. So small. <laughs> oh my gosh, Matthew again. You, I'm convinced you are following me. I don't want this to be like Judd in Oklahoma, you know? Those are the vibes I'm getting. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, so we're back at the barn. We need to go to the left side. Let's get to the left. Front side of the island, for this way. Man, I love this exterior. Whose house is this? This is actually really pretty and we have not seen this home yet. It's Elmer's. I don't think we've seen this home yet, have we? Oh, of course, Elmer has carrots, because <laughs> he's a horse. And of course, he is right next to the stable. Too perfect. Too, too perfect. That. Could live here. I could happily, happily live here. And now we have another villager home to peek inside. Who runs the stable? I gotta know. I gotta know who's in charge of Elmer. Oh, we have, what, her name's Annalise, right? Oh, well that makes sense. We have the two horses right next to the stable. Adorable. Oh, I just love it. Is that a carrot cake? Or pie? Or is that pumpkin pie? It looks like it could be made out of carrots, which is just so cute and funny. Oh, I love the hanging hat and dress. And then of course the jars in the back right as well. It kind of resembles like it could be like pickled carrots. I don't know. Lots of details that just, I don't know. I think the horses would enjoy. Right, onwards. Whoa, that's a cute little dessert too. Man, I swear, I, I discover a new item or a new recipe or something every single time I do. <laughs> One of these stores. Y'all just find the best items and inspire me to one, figure out what they are, but also to use them. Okay, now we're headed back this way, back through the gorgeous little shopping district over here. I do love how the post office is right next to Nook's Cranny and Able Sisters, as if you're purchasing and shipping items. Oh my gosh, is the bakery again? It is, I love. As if you're purchasing items from those stores and then shipping them to, you know, friends, family. So good. Okay, we're back at resident services. Did we go up? We did not go up this way earlier, did we? Oh, we didn't. Oh, and look at this gorgeous orchard. Oh, beautiful. So I, I just mentioned of course, how I love the natural fruit trees sprinkled without. But I had a sneaking suspicion this island of any would have an orchard. Oh, but it still feels so natural. I need to take note because I do love a good 
Island Orchard. It's just, it's such a cute nod to a lot of the in-game mechanics whenever it comes to Animal Crossing and just like the point of the game, harvesting fruit, trading with others. And I love ones that look very natural like this one. Nothing's too like linear, it's all spread out. We have stunted trees. Oh my gosh, stop, and a chicken coop. Stop it. Wait, what? Wait, what? What is this item? What? I need to know. I need to know, because <laughs> it looks like eggs, but it's not eggs. What is this? It looks like little dough balls, but I'm not sure what the actual in-game item is or what it's supposed to be. And another little farm back here. Oh, look at Bee back there being a cutie. Oh, I love that little chicken coop. And let's go inside this house because I did notice, did notice that the lights were on. So we got to see. Oh, here is little Bettina. There she is. She's a little, a little country mouse on this island. So cute. Bettina was one of the villagers that got like zero votes one month from, from being like the most popular. She got zero, so she's the least popular. But I think she's so cute and very underrated. I am definitely pro Bettina and also this interior is just adorable. So adorable. She makes for a perfect little country mouse, doesn't she? Okay, now where does this path take us this way? It's a little viewpoint. Oh, it is, and it's of the museum. Stop, I totally forgot for a second that we had this gorgeous lake to look at. You know what? I'm gonna do this little trick again. You do go into first person, you scroll all the way up, then you go back by pressing the minus button twice, and then you can go up again. Look at that. Look at that. So pretty. I was wondering, I was wondering if this island was going to have Blather's tent or if it was going to be the full developed museum. And I'm very happy to see that it's the fully developed museum. That way you can still experience all of the richness of Animal Crossing New Horizons, of course. Look at that. I don't think I've even mentioned yet how wonderful it is to navigate this island. All of the pathing is just so, so easy to navigate and yet there is no detail, you know, missed at the same time. Just kind of the perfect balance to shoot for, in my opinion. And look back here, we have a pottery area. Oh, this is so good. I definitely need to take some inspiration from here because I <laughs> am redoing a pottery island on my uh, island? Pottery island. Now that's a concept. <laughs> pottery area on my island. And I really, really like the simplicity here. So pretty. Then we have another little beachside picnic area. Man, the way this whole island flows is just so nice. Not to mention, I can't get over these little bridges. These little non-game bridges that look so accurate. The colors are perfect. Oh, we have a little gazebo. Another little bathing area on the beach, or maybe a place to do some laundry. Oh, and what's up here? Oh, whoa! And one, cute. We were brought to the campsite. Oh, this is so well made. Love the laundry over there on the right. I love the combination of the kids' tent with the actual campsite. I've been seeing that more and more. And it really does look amazing. 
Oh, this is so good. I have got to decorate my campsite. Mine is also sitting on my beach, but it has nothing around it. And this one is so thoroughly and perfectly decorated. Just need to stop being lazy. Oh, hello, little hermit crab. Sorry to bug you. <laughs> then I wonder, is that an incline? How did you get up there, chicken? How did you get up there? Oh, there is an incline, I see it. I was just not paying attention. So this little incline. Oh, it takes you to another picnic spot, like right behind the campsite. That is so sweet. Doesn't this island feel huge? Every, uh, like nearly every time I do a tour, especially one that blows me away. I am just so confused. The island feels so much bigger than my own. Wow, and we're back at resident services. This island is a an absolute treat this is not one that y'all want to miss please make sure to visit this dream address i it's been a minute since i've been on an island with an aesthetic like this but wow isn't it beautiful so much inspiration to take so many items quite frankly that i did not realize even existed <laughs> But that's one of the great things about visiting either random dream addresses. You can obviously feel feel free to access any like tours that I have done in the past, get some inspiration. That's one of the great things is sometimes you just forget what the options are. Wow. What a gorgeous vintage farm core island i hope you all enjoyed this tour today let me know in the comments what you want to see next thank you so much to matilda for letting me tour your gorgeous island i loved the interiors i loved how thorough it is there are so many gems i don't even know where to start as far as where my favorite spot is but i hope you all enjoyed this tour again make sure to subscribe if you are new and i will see y'all in the next one Bye bye